The JVC tape decks available at the Greg Technology Center's editing stations are used to import footage from many DV tapes. To import footage using this deck, first make sure the deck is turned on. The power button is located in the upper left hand corner of the deck. You may need to wait a moment while it turns on. When importing footage from a mini DV tape, make sure the output indicator light found in the middle of the deck interface is selected next to DV. To do this, press the button labeled DV slash HDD slash DVD located under the DVD tray until the DV light is selected. Also, just to the left of the display, press the Output Select button until DV is selected. You then need to insert the tape you wish to import. It is important to realize the screen on top of the deck does not need to be on as it does not affect the capturing process. Rather, it is simply a convenient tool that allows you to hear the audio of your tape as it imports. Before you capture, it is important to make sure the tape is rewound to the point where you wish to begin importing, preferably a bit before that point. The next segment of this video will show how the JVC deck interacts with both Final Cut and iMovie. In Final Cut Pro, go to the File menu and select Log and Capture. When the capture screen comes up, you can name the footage by typing in the description box. To begin importing, click Capture Now located in the bottom right of the capture screen. Then quickly hit play on the deck. A separate screen will come up which will display the footage as it is being captured. When capturing footage from a tape, the footage will capture in real time, meaning that, for instance, 30 minutes of footage will take 30 minutes to completely capture. You can stop the capturing process either by hitting escape on the keyboard or letting the tape run to the end. When the capture is finished, a file will be created in the browser window under the name you entered into the description box. To begin editing, close the capture screen as it does not close automatically. When in iMovie, simply turn on the deck and select the DV output. iMovie will recognize the deck and show the import screen. If you open iMovie with the deck already turned on, iMovie will not recognize it. In this case, you can also go to the file menu and select import from camera. Press play on the deck and click import on the import screen. You are now able to name your footage. Once you have named your footage, set the footage to save to the correct location at the top of the import screen. If you are working at the Greg Technology Center and do not have an external hard drive, you will want to make the save location somewhere in the workspace drive, as this drive does not erase when the computer is restarted. When you want to begin importing, click Import. To stop importing, you can either click Stop or let the tape run to the end. Footage will be saved in the event library. One of the most common errors made when trying to use the JVC deck to import is trying to import HD footage. The JVC decks will not import HD footage. Many times, students will have some footage in standard definition and some in high definition. If the deck is importing SD footage and encounters HD footage, it may suddenly stop importing. If you need to import HD footage, you will need to use an HD-capable camera with a DV connection. 